Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Mauler Twins. They made their first appearance in Invincible, issue two, that was released in February of 2003. He or they are gigantic males that stand seven feet six inches tall and weigh 525 pounds, having black eyes and no hair, although they're covered with a unique pale blue skin. Although it's not clear whether this is from being genetically altered or from just being an alien. Either way, these sociopathic scientists are well known for being absolute geniuses, being experts in both biology and engineering, although their IQ is high enough that they can very quickly learn any discipline they put their mind to. Matter of fact, it's widely accepted that the twins are the most intelligent beings on Earth, other than the being known as robots. Additionally, these twins have moderate superhuman strength and durability, being able to briefly contend with Viltrumites if they're exerting their maximum effort, and if the Viltrumite is not at their peak. The twins use every bit of their physical and mental strengths to produce advanced weapons and elaborate plots to attempt global domination. And since they have an unsavory streak in them, they don't mind using any tactics necessary from petty theft all the way to putting people in the grave. Now, the Mauler twins were actually a progression of clones from an unknown original being. It seems as if this process was favored due to him leaning strongly on his own intelligence and not trusting anyone but himself to complete projects properly in his goal towards world domination. However, due to the cloning process being so efficient and good, each copy of himself had all of the genius and memories of the previous one, which interestingly causes an ongoing debate among them on who the original Mauler is. Yet, this also causes a one-upmanship among them that makes for an effective team. Now, they first came across the powerful yet rookie Invincible during an encounter where they were stealing video game systems to take the parts to make an army of robots. They did pretty well against the Viltrumite, although they would be beaten once the team team arrived to help. One of the twins got knocked out, but the other one escaped, with Robot erasing the captive one's memories and letting him go so that they could follow him back to his other twin's hideout. There, the team team completely stopped the plan for the video game Army of Robots. And although the twins were captured, they quickly escaped and laid low for a while. They would eventually pop back up, though, at the memorial service for the Guardians of the Globe, ensuring all the heroes in attendance that their intent was peaceful and honorable. However, the twins would return later that night and steal the remains of Immortal, planning on using their advanced technology to help revive him and then control him. But this failed, and the Immortal would be responsible for coming back and returning them into custody. But once again, they would only stay there for a little while, due to the interference of the dimensional hopping villain named Angstrom Levy, who freed the two and hired them to help him build a machine that could copy all the memories of his multi-dimensional counterparts into his own one brain. And with the expertise of the twins, they would be successful, although they didn't know that Cecil Stedman and the government was watching their activity. And when the elaborate machine was activated, Cecil sent Invincible to take them all in. This had the makings for a huge battle due to Levy bringing in an army of Maulers from all these different alternate dimensions. But just before all of the Maulers could take Invincible down for good, Levy actually intervened, disconnecting himself from the machine, which caused a huge explosion, which horribly scarred him and took out all of the Maulers except for one, who himself was badly scarred as well. But after recovering for a bit, Mauler was back at it, cloning himself once again. Yet this time it was very clear due to his scars that he was the original, and he used this fact to rule over his clone. That is, until the new clone got tired of it and poisoned him. And funny enough, immediately the clone went and cloned himself again, continuing the team effort as well as the arguments on who the original is. Not long after these two new twins were on the scene, they were approached by Robot of the Guardians of the Globe, who made the unusual request of them to make a cloning device that would allow him to move his consciousness into a new cloned body that was free of physical defects. And always loving an intellectual challenge, as well as the money, the twins would agree, ultimately being successful in this venture as well. But as soon as Robot got his new body, he flipped on the twins and said they wouldn't be getting paid, but they'd be going back to confinement. 
And after a brief battle with some of Robot's automatons, that's exactly where they'd find themselves again. Now, I almost don't need to say it, but they'd only stay there for a little while again. However, this time it wasn't intentional, and they just happened to escape when Doc Seismic attempted to break out himself. And this time they would take control of a nuclear missile silo in Wyoming, developing powerful advanced weaponry that could take down the whole Guardians of the Globe team. This battle would culminate with the arrival of Invincible and his younger brother Oliver, and the Mauler twins launching a nuke to distract the two Viltrumites. But this didn't quite go as they planned, because as Invincible raced to try to stop the missile, his impulsive little brother attacked the Maulers by himself. And since the twins underestimated the powerful strength of this little Viltrumite, it would end very badly for both of them. And that should have been the end for the Maulers. But come to find out, a Mauler had been conducting experiments in the Middle East, building a quote-unquote gene bomb that when it exploded, would spread genetic material that would alter the chromosomes in all the male subjects around, which would make all of their male children be born as a Mauler. And to make a long story short, we would end up with a lot of Mauler babies running around. Now, due to their powers and abilities, and their influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give the Mauler Twins a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.